Hi everyone, this is Night Review for Camellia. So here we have a true blue eye, and even she even says that when she was a baby she had blue eyes. And you can definitely tell because the nerve rings are white, like the the nerve ring, that this is the circle part going, you see like it's like a white line circling the iris, right in the middle kind of of the iris, that's called a nerve ring or a stress ring. Um, and if you look at the, like a close-up picture of the uh, of that line, it's like a groove that goes in the fiber of the iris. So where the, the bottom part of that groove is, that shows the actual uh, more true color because it cuts through the top part in a way. Um, so I hope this kind of makes sense to you what I'm talking about. But uh, so your eyes are definitely blue and you're asking if you can get back to that yes you can get back to it but you can't get back to it without changing your diet and your lifestyle so you want to make sure that you're getting away from the foods that are causing toxicity such as like breads meats anything that's unnatural and we're you know we've conditioned ourselves over time to think of things like bread as natural it's not natural you're mixing a lot of ingredients that have been already processed flour is not just you know, it, it doesn't just happen, right? It's processed. So same as if you're adding uh, milk or if you're adding salt, all of these things are not in their pure form. A lot of the times, salt, sometimes you can get it in its very kind of almost natural form, but a lot of the times they process it, iodize, things like that. Um, so all of these things are not natural to begin with. You're mixing them together thinking it's natural. I'm just giving a bread as an example, right? But all of these things that we were kind of conditioned to think were okay are really not, and we have to start getting away from them and going more towards the uh, natural foods such as raw foods really if you want cooked and if you want something warm especially being still that it's i don't know where you live but here in canada it's still a little bit cold um if you want to go towards that teas really help especially herbal teas you don't want to have anything acidic such as black tea or or even green tea is not very good and coffee is not good as well you want to go towards more uh um like herbal teas or soups are good too. So things that are warming but are still very natural because soup is really, you know, not like cream soups and things like that, but just like water and vegetable broth kind of idea um, with like, or like with vegetables in it. So things like that are very good. Grains, I mean, they say that grains are not that not that bad for you but then they say that they're not that good for you either. So I would say grains are fine. Um, but again, as in as pure form as possible. So if, even in like in a soup are fine. If you want to have rice, that's okay. Um, but again, you know, you have to know that rice has arsenic in it. So you want to not do it so much as well. So getting away from the foods and going towards more salads, more raw. But keep in mind that raw foods, you need a lot more of them. And in order to maintain the calorie balance so you're not feeling hungry it's not a diet in terms of you know losing weight or things like that ideally you should maintain the same weight if you're overweight then you probably will lose some but you you have to eat a lot more volume on raw foods than you would on cooked i would say you probably would be eating three times as much on raw foods than on cooked so if you were the person who's always hungry and always would like to eat more this is a perfect diet for you because it's you have to you have to eat to maintain because if you're going to be hungry you're going to say this is not for me i'm hungry all the time i, I need to switch my diet so you want to make sure that you're eating a good volume and also i do see stress uh like i said nerve rings in the eye so that means you are overstressed and your uh, body is overstressed as well so you're tackling the stress of the body by changing uh the foods you eat and then you're tackling the uh, mental stress by reducing your general stress levels throughout the day making sure you're resting making sure you're meditating if you're religious you can substitute meditation with prayer but you have to make sure that you are taking the time to relax so i hope this review has been helpful if you have any additional questions you can let me know um, if you guys would like me to review your eyes i will link that down below i also have a book on how to go from a regular diet to a raw food diet and i'll link that below as well thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time